kids. Welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to answer your questions. That's right. And today's question comes from little Erica Bangaman of Minot, North Dakota. Hey, little Erica. How's it going there in Minot? Might not be perfect, but it sure beats South Dakota. <laughs> Larry, you can't say that. What? Well, you just insulted South Dakota. Well, but I was just making a little joke. Might not be the best joke ever, but I think it's... Larry, we have a lot of fans in South Dakota. It's a lovely place. Every bit as nice as North Dakota. Well, it might not be so bad if it weren't for the Badlands. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm on a roll. <sighs> My apologies, South Dakota. Well, what's the letter say? <clears throat> Dear Bob and Larry, my family just moved to Minot. I started going to a new school and I don't know anybody. I want to make new friends, which got me wondering, what do you think it takes to be a good friend? Sincerely, Erica. Oh, wow. That's a good question. Does she have a speedboat? That might help. Uh, no, Larry. Being a good friend has nothing to do with having a speedboat. What about a bag of lollipops? Or having a bag of lollipops. Well, I'm out of ideas. However, I know a couple of stories that might just help answer that question for both you and Erica. A speedboat might not make you a better friend, but... Roll film! It's vacation time! Hooray! Hooray! Let's spend it outdoors! Let's get away! Bored with summer vacation already? <laughs> You've only been out of school for a week. Well, I'm not bored. I just can't think of anything to do. Me neither. This came in the mail today. I thought it might interest you. Grizzly Ted's day camp? Hiking, swimming, crafts. All the summer adventure a growing cub could dream of. Hey, that sounds good. Or you cubs could always work with me this summer in the wood shop. No, Mama! Oh, he's just teasing. <laughs> Can we really go to day camp, Mama? Grizzly Ted is holding a place for each of you. Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, back to my home. I dare not go, I dare not go. Or if I do, or if I do, my mother will say, my mother will say, have you ever seen a goat paddle in a boat? <laughs> Down, Down by the bay. Down by the bay. Down by the bay.
the great bear tried one more time to catch salmon in his mighty paw. Salmon leapt one more time with the last strength that was in him. Oh, wow. He jumped higher than the water, higher even than the great bear himself, until he jumped right into the sky. And there he remains to this day. How do I know? Because every time it rains, the water makes him jump again. And the bright colors from his scales Make the rainbow. I love that story. I sure am glad I had someone to talk to. And once I told you what was bothering me, I wasn't so worried anymore. Thanks, Lizzie. You're welcome. It wouldn't have been the same without you here. I'm so glad I didn't miss out on this. Let's see who can find the shooting star first. All right. There's one. Did you see it? Sister. Good night, sister. something you want to say? Yeah. I wasn't thinking about your feelings when I made fun of you. I wouldn't want you to make fun of me. Will you forgive me, South Dakota? I think so. Historically, it's been a very forgiving state. That's good. But how will I know? I wanna die. Yes. You see, Larry, and Erica from Minot, just like in the story of Sherlock Holmes, to be a good friend, we need to treat our friends like we want to be treated. And like we learned in the story of the asparagus of La Mancha, being a good friend means that we need to do what's best for our friends and stick by them when they need us the most. Well, let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. <laughs> a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Proverbs 17, 17. Excuse me. Uh, so, Erica from Minot, the best thing to keep in mind when you're looking to make a good friend is how to be a good friend. And if you can do that, I think you'll do just fine. That's right, Erica. You'll be just fine. Well, uh, what are you doing? Dress rehearsal for the next show starts in two minutes. Well, do you mind if we finish this show first? Carry on, little red guy. Remember, kids, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Bye! Uh, nobody told me about a dress rehearsal. Don't worry. You're not in it. Well, how come I don't ever get to be in the... <laughs>